Hello everyone and welcome to Atelier Ilier. Today's video is actually going to be a follow-up to the placemat unit tutorial. At the end of that video I briefly showed you how to connect units together. A lot of you have tried making your own placemats from my tutorial which is great, but some of you have also told me that it's hard to figure out what to do and what the next steps are. So I'll be going over how to construct a nine piece placemat and where to go from there in this video. So I have with me here units in two different colours. I will be using blue as the main colour and red as the interlocking piece just to highlight the differences between the two units. And you also need to make extra interlocking pieces and cut them in half as well. Uh, this is so you can fill in the gaps on the borders of your placemats. And this is probably where a lot of people tripped up, so I'm sorry for not mentioning that in the previous video. So we're going to be building the placemat starting from the bottom right towards the top left. Uh, with that in mind, let's connect our first two pieces. If you don't remember how to do this, by the way, all you need to do is get one of the corner petals and fold it upwards so that it looks like a straight line and then you can insert it into the red interlocking piece and fold it down to hold it in place. Now I'm just going to quickly add three more pieces in the same fashion. So now this interlocking piece is completely covered. Now, if you've seen the full picture, you know that main squares have to be in rows and columns. So let's add another piece here. But how would you join this together? Well, you might actually notice that there is a gap that looks like that could be filled. And this is where you use your half piece so I'm going to join these two together. And we can do exactly the same for this gap over here. Okay, so now you can see quite clearly that the main pieces are now in rows and columns and the interlocking pieces are diagonally placed. So if I just turn it around, you can see the diagonal lines. Now with that in mind, let's put our next blue piece down here and see where the interlocking pieces could go. And you can tell there should be one that has to go here and another one that goes here. So let's put those pieces there. Now you can see everything falling into place. I'm just going to put the other piece here. As the placemat gets bigger and bigger, it starts getting a bit harder to manage all of the pieces if you're not gluing them down, so just make sure to keep everything together as you're adding new pieces. Okay, so now here you can see the diagonal lines that I was mentioning earlier, because the other interlocking pieces are making a new parallel line. And you can also see where to add the other two blue pieces. And here you can already tell that an interlocking piece needs to go here. And from here on, it should be fairly easy to figure out where to go now, because now I add extra pieces here 
and up here as well and then just add interlocking pieces as I go so if I turn it around here this is what it should look like on the back so as you're building your placemat just make sure it kind of looks like this as well so hopefully that was helpful to you and if you are still having problems making this playmat just shoot me a message I have no problems answering and helping with more questions uh, so thank you very much for joining me today <laughs>